All right guys, today I'm gonna to show you how I make the super veggies meal. I usually do this in the morning before I go to work, so it's usually fresh, but this is a Saturday night and we're gonna actually, me and my wife are gonna share it for dinner. And so I'm gonna make it really quick. She wants to kind of see how it's done too. So I figured I'd make a short, quicker kind of how-to version that's split off from the big video. Hope you enjoy it. So the first thing I do is I get the pot in the morning and I have this winter mix that I get from my local store. I don't know if you have that. It makes it so much easier. It's about 340 grams of broccoli and cauliflower. So the values of 150 grams, 200 grams might be a little skewed, but I figure it's not too far off. <clears throat> and I crack open the bag, put it in my little pot here. I have I pretty much know how to eyeball now what it looks like for, obviously, a, a, a do a larger serving of garlic here for the clove. And the ginger, it's about half of a thumb, my thumb knuckle, it's about half of it. So I've gotten good at kind of kind of eyeballing that and just do it that way. So I get that ready. Um, I don't have any shiitake, maitake mushrooms right now, but I do have these. I like these a lot. I buy these in bulk just in case I run out of mushrooms and I'm in the middle of running back and forth. In addition, I need a little bit of dershin, in addition, I need a little bit of juice in the bottom of the blender or it has trouble grabbing everything. So typically what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of the mushroom juice in there and then I drain it off. This can has right at 113 grams, so I'm estimating about half of this can. It's about 50 grams of mushroom that Brian does in his recipe. So I'm gonna put, actually since I'm making it for both of us, I'm gonna use the whole can. Ideally, I'd probably put half the can in here. And I love mushrooms, and they're very low calories anyway, so having a little bit extra never bothers me. So I get those things ready to be boiled and I'm gonna start the boiling process right now once I start the boiling going I start prepping my blender because I'm gonna blend all of it now I have yet to purchase bulk black lentils but but we have purchased dry brown lentils I'll show you over here so I have those we made some today. My wife made them in the Instapot, and so I have those ready to go in the fridge. But for today's purpose, I'm gonna show you, again, I, I try to do this the quickest and easiest way, not necessarily saying it's the highest nutritional yield. I don't know how much worse it is, but I like convenience. And so I buy these bulk, and one can after I've drained all the juice of it is approximately 300 grams, which fills out the requirements for the lentils. I like the flavoring in here. It's, it's got, it doesn't have any oils added. It, it's got a couple of spices in it, things, preservatives and salt, a tad of salt. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the juice though, cause I do again like it and I need some juice to be in the bottom of the blender. So I usually crack it open and let that drain as I'm prepping my lime. And so I put a quarter of a paper towel down here and I'll start cutting the lime up. A lot of times if I'm going to drink water throughout the day I'll put a piece of the lime in my water so that I have some infused water to drink. So that's just a, a cheap way to get some material for your for your water. I like lime by the way. I like it a lot better than lemon I've come to discover. And I'm kind of messy, so I, that's the one reason I have this down here is I'm messy and I try to make cleanup as quick and as painless as possible. I'm not cutting this in any symmetrical fashion whatsoever, but it won't take, it only takes me about 15 minutes to do this and I can get it down to about 10 if I really stay on top of it. In the mornings when I'm doing this, um, I'll also make my the Green Giant smoothie and drink my morning pills with it. But put that in there. Now, while that's still in the middle of boiling, I'm gonna grab a tablespoon and go ahead and put the tablespoon of cumin in this. And now that it's got liquid in there, it should blend better. 
I don't like it to get stuck. Yeah, she had a big container in the cabinet, so I'm just going to fill out the tablespoon. Actually, instead of lemon, I'm going to put that in my tea. I've got a green tea going for later. It's simmering right now. I try to get at least five glasses of green tea a day like Brian does too for the antioxidant effect. So I've got this drained off pretty good. Again, the canned stuff I only keep for if I'm going to be ultra pressed for time and for convenience sake. If, if you want to make these out the way he does it with the, draw, the dry ingredients, the raw recipe, then more power to you. I like to have emergency standbys like the bags that are done for the broccoli and cauliflower. And it just makes it a lot easier for me, and I'm more likely to be compliant if it's easy under my stressed mornings where I'm rushed. And so we don't have that boiled yet. While that's going, I'm gonna put the tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in there. Hang on a second, we had to shift this around to get to the cumin. Is it cumin or cumin? Hilarious. Drop the apple cider vinegar. Um, I found out the hard way. You want to put this over a container because I've spilt this all over the counter many times. It tends to drizzle, so you got to pour kind of fast. And since you pour kind of fast, put it. Go ahead and put it over your your blender. Now I've made this before and not blended it, and it's good that way. But it's a lot of chewing, a lot of time. It's much easier to blend it. I won't always blend it. Sometimes I do like to chew but I blend it most of the time. And sometimes I'll blend everything except the, the um, lentils and pour it over the lentils and eat it that way. But either way, I really like this meal. This is my favorite of, of all the meals that is offered on this site. I like the nutty pudding, and, a, and a, um, if I do end up missing any meals throughout the three of the day, it's almost always nutty pudding. And it is the reason is because it makes me a little nauseous. It's a little bit rich in fat I guess because of the nuts you know, that are in there and it makes me a little nauseous but this meal is delicious I absolutely love having this meal the sweet potatoes meal is fantastic too I like that one as well but I split it up I'll talk about that in the video I make for that got the boil going I come over here and just drain it I like to rinse the small pieces out of the pot, because I'm actually going to rinse the pot out here. I'll go ahead and do that. I try to rinse it real good before, and then it didn't really have any stuff up in the edges of it here. And I'll let it drain for tomorrow, or else I'm washing it every single day. And then this takes. This is this is kind of the hard part. I do this every day, this little shimmy game with trying to not spill the stuff. So let's see how I did today. It's, it's like a little vibration technique. It's definitely not the easiest technique. Yeah, but yeah. well, and I dropped something, mushrooms, I think. But you gotta spin it kind of as you. Or you can put the blender down and use the spatula. No. None of that. It's like carrying all the bags in the grocery store. You, you gotta do it one, one go. Gotta do it the hard way? Yeah. Turn my colander upside down. Rinse all the pieces out of that. Pretty clean. Throw this in the blender here. It's going to be a little loud.
sure that those, especially the uh, ginger, gets ground up really good. And it doesn't. It doesn't get it too dirty. And if you immediately rinse it off and put it over here to dry, it's pretty clean. I, use, I wash it at least once every other other day, but I'll let them go two days between cleaning them with uh, soap because they're pretty clean cool anyways. Rinse the sink out. All right. Pour all the mixture. We have made a spatula. Okay, sweet one. I'm not good with my, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna do it this way. Already smells good. Sometimes I put onions into this too, by the way. Onions have a uh, re reported benefits to testosterone. I like the way onions taste too but my wife doesn't, and so no onions in this recipe. I try to do as thorough a job as I can so I'm not wasting any food, but at some point you just gotta agree that you couldn't get it all. It's a good bit though. Clean it up real good. I turned my blender inside out. I'll we'll spray it like that, try to push it. As long as you didn't stick your tongue all over to get any saliva bacteria on it, it stays relatively clean. Again, same thing, I'll use it a couple days and then I'll give it a, a good wash. Not today though. Quick and easy. Okay, and then I've got my tablespoon. I'm gonna go to the fridge. Grab the hemp seeds. I didn't know these things had to be refrigerated, but we do. I learned the hard way. You wanna do your hemp seeds first and not your olive oil first, or else this becomes olive oil laden and then you're sticking that in here and getting it all over the place. So trial and error, folks. Tablespoon. You can make it pretty. It doesn't really matter. It's about to all go down the gullet. Um, I do add the chocolate chips, just like Brian does in his website and in his videos. And it's a tablespoon of chocolate chips, which is about about this much. I think I counted them one day to see how much a tablespoon is, and it's 16 of your standard chocolate chips. And then a tablespoon of the olive oil, extra virgin. I've got about 10 servings of this left, but I'm gonna have to go get some more. There's my tail. I pour it until it just starts to drizzle. And that's it, guys. There is Look how much food this is, by the way. This is huge. I don't know. What size are these bowls? Um, I don't remember. They're, it's huge, though. This is a huge eight bowl. Cup? You can see this, man. I think they're the eight cup ones. It takes me, when I take this to work and I'm eating this every day, it takes me easily an hour of just consuming it. I'm doing my work. I'm going through tickets and looking at emails. It takes me an hour to eat this. Very, very, very filling. Very satisfying. And I love the taste of it. Absolutely. My mouth's watering. I can't wait to eat it. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. Like, share, subscribe. See you later.